everyone, welcome back to my channel. I thought I would do a video today on some fall and winter skincare staples or products that I like to use in the fall and winter that are really nourishing, hydrating, comforting. Um, a few of these are new. A lot of them are like old favorites. Um, cleanser wise, I love the Elemis Cleansing Balm. So lovely, very rich, kind of like oily, just really takes off all my makeup, but really nourishes my skin and hydrates it, as well as the Holy Frog Hydrating um, Nourishing Milky Wash. It's creamy, it's milky, it is so comforting on your skin. And it's just great if you have dry skin, but really if you have like any skin type, it's just a really nice um, classic uh, milky cleanser. Now, what else do I have here? Um, a face oil that I love that I've gone through already, been using it for years, is the Chantecai Rose de Mai face oil. It's lightweight, but really rich. It, it's very hard to explain because it literally nourishes my skin, takes away any dry patches, immediately comforts it, but it feels so lightweight. In addition to that, um, the Rose de Mai Cream, if you're not really wanting to use a face oil, the Rose de Mai Cream is another great option. Very calming, very nourishing, um, has the rose in it. And I like both, but it just depends on the texture that you're looking for. I haven't used this pure rose water essence in so long. And I always say like a mist is a mist, but there are a few exceptions. This is one of them. First of all, the dispenser, the mist dispenser for this, it's really hard to see, is it is exactly how a mist dispenser should be. It just like sprays tiny little droplets into the air. Doesn't like douse your face. This is, first of all, it's incredibly, um, instantly kind of like wake up your skin and really refreshing, really hydrating. It's nice to use over makeup. I like to use it in my skincare routine, especially going into the fall and winter. If your skin gets really uncomfortable, maybe throughout the day, like if by the end of the day, you're like, my skin is so dehydrated, it's tight, it's uncomfortable. This is what you need. It's a bit of a splurge, but like keep this at your desk, keep this wherever you are and just mist your face and it will give you that relief that you need without having to like take all your makeup off or put on more face cream or whatever. It's kind of like a quick fix. Um, two products from Pharmacy. The Pharmacy Honey Potion Mask. I've talked about this before. It's lovely. It's like a thick honey texture. You rub it into the skin, which I've showed on my Insta stories quite a few times. It goes on very thick. Then you rub it in and it turns to like kind of like a white milky substance. Leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes, then rinse it off. Your skin is very plump, very hydrated, but that massaging helps to give just a slight bit of exfoliation, a little bit. Honey is very healing to the skin, so this is just an absolute lovely mask. I recently have been testing the Honey Halo from Pharmacy. Now, this is a very ultra-hydrating ceramide moisturizer, so I was worried that it would be too thick. For my combination skin, no, it's lovely. It's It kind of just envelops the skin. It's not too rich, but it definitely, if you have dry skin, you will love this. If you have very oily skin, I don't know if this is gonna be a fit. Um, their Honey Drop Moisturizer, I love, much more lightweight, still has the honey properties in it. They also have that Daily Greens Moisturizer, which is like oil-free. That's great if you have really oily skin. But the Honey Drop Moisturizer is nice in the winter because it's much more lightweight than this, but still has a lot of the same properties. The Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. Um, very nourishing. It's very plumping to the skin. Like I find that my skin looks very bright and plump when I use this. Oh, I forgot. I haven't talked about this in a while. Summer Friday's Jet Lag Mask. I really do like this. I mean, I love a lot of Summer Friday's products, most of the ones that I've tried. And the jet lag mask though is really fantastic. Very calming, very moisturizing, very hydrating. And I just leave it on. I mean, I know there's like a million different ways that you can use it. I do it as a leave on and take off mask. I put it on for 20 minutes, 
then tissue it off. I can't remember if I've talked about this product before, the Alpine Beauty Plant Genius Melt Moisturizer. The texture is really beautiful. It literally melts into the skin. Very rich, but feel, but absorbs instantly into the skin. Feels very comforting, nourishing. And the final product, um, I really love the Elemis. I love the whole Elemis Pro Collagen line. I mean, I cannot say enough good things about it. I love so many of the products in the range. Um, the Pro Collagen Marine Cream, the Day Cream, that's a really good, like, no must, no fuss, anti-aging cream. But something a little bit richer um, is the Pro Collagen Overnight Matrix. This is very firming. It really targets a lot of anti-aging concerns, but it's much richer and more nourishing for the nighttime, but also for fall and winter. So this is a great one. If you're liking the Pro Collagen line and you use the Marine Day Cream, and you maybe want to switch to something richer for the uh, fall and winter, this one is a great one to add into your routine. I shared a deal on my Insta stories with this and the cleansing balm. QVC does a lot of great Elemis bundles and deals. That's why I always share those on my Insta stories just because they're really quick. I can just throw it up there. I can also put in the like to know it app. Um, so like I said before, if you haven't, don't follow me on Instagram, it's a really great place because I share a ton of really quick deals that I come across. Um, a really great hydrating serum. Uh, I say hydrating, but it, I mean, this is a very powerful, it hydrates at a much deeper level. So this is great all year round, but especially going into fall and winter, the SkinCeuticals HA Intensifier, lovely, very plumping to the skin really helps your skin hold on to moisture really well. I have two, um, the last two ones are very affordable skincare finds. I did an entire blog post on some skincare products under $50 that I'm really loving. Some are old favorites, some are new discoveries. One being this L'Oreal Revitalift Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Wow, it's thick. It's, you only need a few drops, but it is very powerful. Like I immediately saw my skin kind of plump up, my skin hold onto moisture and water in my skin so much longer, like throughout the day. And it's just, a, I mean, for the price point, it is a very good hyaluronic acid serum. And then many of you have told me about this moisturizer for years, years. The Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. Yeah, it is a shot of water. For your skin. It feels amazing. It, it just feels like you're dunking your face in water. It's so comforting. Um, it's more of a gel formula. I believe they have an oil, this is the oil-free one, um, but I find it very comforting and it's not too heavy, but I definitely think it would be good, definitely good for those with oily skin, combo skin, but I think if you have dry skin, you would really enjoy this as well because it's I mean, instantly, any tightness I have or un like discomfort goes away immediately. And it's always good to add in more moisture and hydrating products into your routine. Uh, and that's that. Kind of a quick um, video. Well, not too quick. But um, I wanted to kind of put this together. So if you were looking to switch up your routine for fall and winter and you need some good recommendations, I pulled some here. I've done some of these videos in the past, so you can go back and look through those. Um, I still love all of those products, but I wanted to kind of feature some things that I'll definitely be using this fall and winter, and I'll go ahead and link everything that I talked about down below. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.